It's my feel good breakfast show. Yes, I'm Zanzi. Welcome back to the kitchen. And it is time once again to celebrate some delicious food because we're here with another one of the winners from Kalio Plate with Koo Season 3. And we're talking about the one and only Zelda Hennessy. <laughs> pew, 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 pew. <laughs> Listen, I'm excited for this. I obviously saw what we were making earlier. And uh, another winner, another opportunity to dive into a great recipe. Are you excited for this? First time live on TV on your Feel Good Breakfast show? <laughs> I'm very excited about this. First time, but I'm feeling good about it. I think it's going to be a little bit easier than the comp though because things are good in the kitchen. It's always feel good vibes and we get to chat in chasals as always. So you're in good hands here, but take me to the recipe. What are we actually making here? We are making my version of a croissant French toast bake. Mm -hmm. To me, this is just convenient because like it's a one pan French toast and you can serve it to your whole family and it's also very versatile. Okay. Like and it can be breakfast, brunch, a dessert, whichever way. And you're mentioning like kryptonite food here. You said croissant and French toast mixed up into one. So I'm sold. I think everybody else listening as well. So Take me through the steps. How are we doing this? Um, first off, you will be making like a custard base. Okay. That you're going to be pouring over your wonderful croissants. All right. All butter croissants, of Ooh. course, for that rich flavor. Even more temptation. Bring it on. <laughs> okay. So you've just got your eggs that's going in there. Okay. So are we doing this, this thing that I've started to figure out where it's like wet ingredients and dry ingredients uh, go separate, or are we mixing it all together? This is going to be going over the croissant mixture. Oh, to okay. Soak in. Okay. So this is like the bath of goodness that's going to kind of get absorbed by this. I like it. 100%. And then what was that, cream? This is a double thick cream. Oh, nice. And then we have just a little bit of normal milk. Okay. As well as regular whipping cream is okay. also going. So this bring on be... all the cream. <laughs> if you love cream, then you've come to the right place. Zelda has you covered. Okay. And uh, again, there's obviously this uh, moment where I want to uh, touch on again the fact that you are a winner and there was this version of you that wasn't a winner before and now you're this winner So what was the the pre Zelda doing in the kitchen? That's maybe different now that you're a champion and uh, now that you're gonna be paying food on an elevated level <laughs> <laughs> On an elevated yeah. level, but pre being a winner I would focus mainly on my desserts and stuff I could go all out crazy fancy uh -huh. desserts But you know the cooking side of things just kind of went meh on a plate and now being on a cooking show of course, you had to elevate even your savory yeah. dishes. I'm glad I got the opportunity to venture down that <laughs> avenue. And like, I'm also just adding some vanilla to this lovely okay, mixture. Okay, nice, nice. Thank you very much. And yes, I know for sure the family is going to have high expectations on the savory side now. No more nuggets and other chips. <laughs> <laughs> I think you're going to have a problem because extended family, friends, the neighbors are going to probably hear about this and be like, all right, lunch at Zaldas, supper at Zaldas, Easter, <laughs> Valentine's, Christmas, you name it. So you're going to be busy this year. I think everybody's going to be calling out for requests and uh, rightfully so because you are a champion now. You're a yes, winner. Exactly. <laughs> I'm up for the challenge. Like any challenge you can throw my way, bring it on. All right, supper at Zaldas. You heard it, guys. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's get back to the recipe. Where are we at now? What are we doing? Uh, we're adding some sugar. Of course, we need just a little bit of sweetness, not too much sugar. Okay, yeah. And some ground cinnamon as well. Ooh, nice. So that's going to give it that warm, sort of homey feel. I love when exactly. we incorporate cinnamon into these. It goes and then unright. whisk it all up. Yeah. Would you maybe want to place the berries on top of the croissant? Certainly for putting me so to long. work. Okay, so we're using <laughs> blueberries. And are these raspberries and blackberries? Raspberries yeah. and blackberries. Nice. Yes. But that's what's so versatile as well. You can use your favorite berries in this mixture. Nice. You can even add some nuts if you want a little bit of a crunch, you know. Ooh, so we're getting some texture changes there. If you want to add your nuts or your favorites, like you've just mentioned, so I love that. And then uh, don't judge me here because I know you're like a you're pretty much like a chef now with your baking skills, but is this okay? Am I am I sorting it in the way that you uh, approve? No, you've definitely got right. some skills there. Got it, I've got the... some competition. <laughs> Getting the stamp of approval here from a winner, so that always bodes well. And uh, all the berries, right, going on top of that. Yes, I think all we've got of a them. nice spread already looking good, and we haven't even added the main stuff to it yet. What are you? Well, of course, this is the Koo peaches. peaches. As you bake this in the oven with the honey that you're going to drizzle over the top, these just start glistening, and they make you think, "Oh, just eat me now." Just eat just me now. Eat me Listen, now. you now playing into nostalgia for me because one of my absolute favorite desserts was peaches, peaches. and cream back when I was at home as well. Do you want me to 
to put the, uh, pop this on for you? Yes, please. I can do that for you. So I would take these peaches and I would pop it literally in straight in cream and that would be my like dessert. Oh. And I would absolutely love it. So now that I'm seeing what you're doing with peaches and cream, I'm like, whoa, I have not been living. <laughs> Clearly, Zelda has taken it to another level. So do you want me to actually get these on you? Yes, please. About half of the tin. Okay, nice. Like, half of the tin. And do so we use the, nice. the, the, the peach juice as no, well? No, you, okay, you so keep that aside. some of it is good in right, there. But we don't want to drench it too much. All right, exactly, because so the custard needs there. to soak in. Bum, bum, bum. Oh, man, I could just chow this oh, as it is already. doesn't it look already. beautiful? Yeah. yeah. And I love how you're using color here. Um, obviously, we eat with our eyes as much as we do with texture and flavor. So seeing bright, inviting colors like this gives me an invite, <laughs> if you didn't give it to me already, to say, hey, chow into this, you're going to love it. But uh, yeah. you're going to the final step now? Yes, this custard mix is ready. Okay. We're not going to pour all of it in right now, because mm -hmm. after you pour the first lot, it's going to soak into your croissants. All right. Then you can add little bit by little bit as you see it's needed before you pop it in your oven. Nicely done. Okay, All right, so, so let's go for that first pour. Let's hope it doesn't... Nice. Oh, just look at that. Oh, yes! I'm just like salivating at the thought of this being done because, oh, you have put it together so perfectly. And yes, I can see how the croissant is literally going to suck up all that juice and all that 100%. magic. Oh. They're also going to bake a little bit crispy on the tops. Okay, nice. Oven, Nicely so done. Especially with a little, this is a cinnamon sugar topping. Ah, just... so this will kind of almost, not, not caramelize it, but give it that sort of nice texture at the top as well. That sweet tooth craving is mm. going to be met here. But wow. Clearly, there's a reason why you're a winner. This looks absolutely incredible, and we haven't even finished our last few steps, which is obviously getting it to bake, getting it to just set perfectly, and then the best part about it is that you get to eat that. Yes, 100%. <laughs> when this comes out the oven, you're going to, just before you serve it, drizzle about two tablespoons, or to your liking, honey over the top. Again, just adding to that glistening effect that kind of makes you think, oh, I need to dig into this right now. Oh, now, listen, you've made this recipe seem and sound so simple. So kudos, <laughs> absolutely brilliant job. This is the reason why we're a winner, and I hope you enjoyed this, Mzanzi. Some more inspiration, not only from these meals, but from Zelda herself, showing you that anything is possible. You put your mind to it. If you really just go out there, take a risk, and dream big. I love what you've done here and this is going to be delicious. I can't wait to eat it. Yes. Awesome. Thank you. I can't either. <laughs>